this is more of a Christmas gift from, I think it'd be a literal Karen in this case. It is causing an uproar on social media right now with folks that are really debating whether a gift given by this woman was a microaggression or a kind gesture. So here are the deets so you can decide. What we have is a white man who posted a picture of Tahitian pearls online that his grandmother gave to his wife. His wife happens to be black. So this is what the caption of the husband's Reddit post said. Xmas present from my very Karen grandma to my African American wife. He punctuated the heading with a white embarrassment emoji. And the grandma's card to the black granddaughter in law read, like my black pearls, rare and of great value. You are the black pearls of the family, smiley face. Love you, Karen. Oh, isn't that nice? Now, of course, per the Atlantic Star, Atlantic Black Star, uh, the public thrashing, it really started pretty soon. Uh, it said that the almost 4,300 comments have been made since the Christmas post went up and most commenting didn't see a problem with the present. A few people said generationally and culturally her remarks reflected someone trying their best to rise above white privilege. Others even blasted the man for including the palm hand in the note, suggesting he was embarrassed by her. Jackson, how does this hit you? Uh, honestly, for me, this is just kind of an incident of like a white woman showing that she's white. I don't really think she meant harm on her granddaughter per se. And I don't think that obviously it was meant to blow up this big online. But you know, I'm I'm half black, half white, and I grew up pretty much primarily only in a black world. And so like sometimes when I'm around white family members, they'll say things like this, but there's no real malintent behind it. They just they're just kind of trying to relate or be funny in a way. So, you know, like I think this is an incident where it kind of blew up really big and it kind of shows a spotlight that white people live in their own world for the most part. But I don't think I personally don't feel like she meant harm by doing this. I think she was just old and white. <laughs> no, no, I, I definitely agree with you. I don't think she meant harm in any way. But we do have to realize that, you know, if there was harm done, uh, if for some reason it made the wife feel even more uncomfortable, uh, you know, the impact is what we have to focus on rather than yeah. the intent. Uh, that being said, I do think this is kind of funny. Um, yeah. Just you know, it is because it is. It's, it's <laughs> someone who probably tried their best and thought it was a sweet gesture, and you know, they're out looking at jewelry and they're like, hmm, I see. Pearls, but uh, is that black pearls? Oh, I think she'd like these so much better because she's black. Like, come on, <laughs> yeah. you're just like, <laughs> what is going on here? Uh, but here's, uh, let's let's talk about what some of the posters said because they did kind kind of get funny. So, Gas Grouchy commented, "I think acknowledging the fact she is black and could feel left out, but." that she is beautiful and rare in her own regard and loved by the family is completely sweet. I think the cringe card was actually perfectly delivered and genuine. One big tobacco wrote, bless her heart, grandma's trying. The delivery needs a little work, but she is trying. <laughs> and you know what, I, I agree, people try and especially, and I don't wanna give anybody a pass just because of their age, but generally it, it bothers me far, far less if the person has more mileage, uh, cuz times have changed, you know, what, 50 years ago, six years ago, you could call me colored girl and no one would bat an eye, you call me that today and it's like, good luck to you. But. Uh, <laughs> I will tell you, I definitely will tell you uh, with this gift, like, okay, so this is a piece of jewelry and it can be pretty expensive. So if grandma wants to buy me a black diamond, I will take it. I will right. take any <laughs> stone, any kind of gem. If there are black Benjamins out there, a black Bentley, whatever she needs me to take to embrace my blackness, I'll take it. Right, exactly, especially if it's for free. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? How can you go wrong with that? But yeah, out of the many stories that you know we typically cover on Indisputable, I think this is one of the more light and funny ones, you know, so. Yeah, it, I definitely uh, yeah. agree. <laughs> oh my God, so let's look. Uh, so in terms of the quality of the gift itself. So according to the retailer Pearl Lang, black pearls are called Tahitian pearls and they come from French Polynesia, Fiji and Sea of the Sea of Cortez and the Cook Islands. These specific pearls are considered the most exotic variety of pearls in the market. 
with the most high quality batch of them going from a thousand to thirty six thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah. So if anybody <laughs> wants to buy black pearls or wants to buy me black pearls, white pearls, I'll take any kind of pearls. Just it's okay. You can pass them along to me. Right. You can pass me the black pearls or you can pass me the integration pearls, whichever you <laughs> want. I'll take them. <laughs> That's right. Yes, yes. That I think it's extremely important that people just give us gifts. Like, if you want to give me jewelry as reparations, I'll take it any color. Right. Right. Yeah. I ain't gonna say no. <laughs> uh, 